TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight after this TFNN noon update. The Dow's up 100 at 26,550, just bumping into trend line resistance. Technicals are still very good. Let's see where this goes over the coming two sessions, including today. So that'll be today and Monday afternoon, maybe going to Tuesday. Let's see how far it can go above this trend line resistance. Support right now is of the 26,390s uh, on the uh, more short term look at it. The S&P is also up. Uh, whoops, it was up. Let's see what it's doing right now. Yep, it's up 243. It's struggling a little bit. I think there's a chance that by Monday, um, if it can hold, if the market holds nicely into the close today, the last day of the trading week, um, we'll see because tomorrow's closed. And just let me wish you all, a, a, if you are celebrating, a very happy Easter and Passover. So S&P has key resistance at 28.84. Right now, if the MACD is pulling back a little bit, stochastic still at 90%, that's good. There's a chance it could go just nominally above 29.18. And then I think it starts a consolidation. In fact, I think technically it started the consolidation already. The QQQ, now this is going to be very interesting. QQ led the way up. A little weak today, down 10 cents at 187. This is the NDX 100 Q's uh, Trust Series. Made an all-time high yesterday of 186.07. Really, uh, yep, that is, um, no, 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 it was higher than that. I forgot to update it. Uh, that was at 187.93, uh, 40 cents above the previous all-time high. Very good action. Weekly chart is still strong. IWM is trading right now, down 25 cents. Once again, very weak. Uh, the Russell 2000 struggling. Gold is kind of unchanged ish. He has down one at 1276. But what really is interesting, certainly for us, who are subscribers to my opening course, this would be long over a year in the dollar. It is at 97.38. It, it has to break into the 98s and it has to do it fairly soon. If it does that, that monthly chart is really going to improve. And then we could even have a longer timeout. It doesn't matter. But the fact that it would get there into a leg C in the dollar index would be very, very encouraging. Looking out and the crude oil right now, it's just stuck in that rectangle. I'll talk about it more in my program coming up straight after this. Don't forget, my opening call is my daily newsletter. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Otherwise, have a wonderful long weekend.